Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wild Woman podcast. And I have indeed a wild, another wild woman with me today, <laughs> a wild woman of dance, Hannah Green, who I'm really excited about talking to. She runs and has set up Dance Free, which, as I understand, is sort of free movement and expression through dance. And um, she's also set up the award winning Dance Free community. She's based in the UK. What I love as well, she mentions, or you mentioned, Hannah, I'll introduce you now, is sort of a, your um, how you've been inspired by the freedom of expression of other cultures around the world. I think there's so much to learn from mm. how um, I'm just feeling it, sorry, as I say it to you, in Ireland, there would be, I'm just, it's nearly like you can feel the ancestors sometimes, that, you know, their way of wanting to move through you. I feel that more and more now sorry it's only coming to me now as I'm talking to you and even when I go outdoors the sort of a natural rhythm I'd love to talk about that as well isn't there that comes through so welcome before I go off on a whole tangent welcome Hannah Green oh no thank you and uh, that was a, a wonderful welcome really because it's all what I'm about and yeah it makes me excited to talk to you about what you're saying there uh, yeah yeah so yeah, start where I was just going to say, who is Anna, Anna Green right now and what she does? We can, you know, we can take it wherever, but I just love to, for you to just start and share about yourself and what you do. Okay, so uh, I'll kind of start with where I am at present and then we can go back to where I've kind of, where it's come from. Yeah. But um, yeah, so at present, I'm um, a, a founder of a community interest company. It's really just a community uh, of um, free dancers. Um, so I um, hold I, on offer a space in nature for people to really guide people to really let go and discover that inner freedom through dance, through reconnecting to the body and nature. So it's the two together. I like to create a, a really safe space a really beautiful music journey away through all kinds of rhythms and really guide people to just let go of caring and really, really connecting in with the body and letting go with mind and rerouting, I think. Rerouting. Yes, oh really. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that just that freedom of, of not caring what we move like, what we look like, and to have that space to do that together. So that's what I feel very passionate about doing. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of navigating, um, bringing this community out into the, the world, into to everyone. So it really is to kind of connect with people who don't even know they're looking for it. So um, that's, that's something I, I feel very strongly about. But uh, yeah, people... And how do you do that when you say... Yeah, I can sort of feel. I can feel it. It's funny. I can. It's obviously. I we were just saying to people listening before we started recording that I always find sometimes interviews or conversations are rejigged or rescheduled, and there's something in the timing because nearly I find as I come on and talk to someone like I'm talking to you now, I can nearly feel my body going. Thank you. It's about yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think I've I'm, I've been on a constant learning in um in bringing the bringing the dance to people, normalising dance to everyone. And the way I do that, I suppose, um, is just trying to uh, create, a, communicate a, a language that is accessible to everyone, I suppose, that people connect with, resonate with. Um, but, yeah, so learning how to communicate out mm. there in the world and also just trusting that, when people come along, they, um, you know, they have the, their journey and then they maybe share with others. So it does kind of create a, a rippling out to the world. So, mm. yeah, and, and navigating society. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Uh, you know, with with me running a community interest company, we, we get uh, support with some funding, which means we can offer very much donation-based service, and people, all people can come along. And that's really important to me that because it's coming from my heart and soul. I don't want it to be a business. Yes. So, yeah. And it's it's finding ways to do that. It's not mm. always easy. <laughs> but yeah. I find, I'm, I'm, I'm realising now through 
the power of community it's it's almost it's very tribal what's happening we have um, small bubbles of communities in different parts of our county which is very large rurally and then there's these little small bubbles i like to call them bubbles mm -hmm. <laughs> people are then growing and sharing and there's this you know this strength in these communities and it's all about um freedom and liberty and and really expressing all the emotions anywhere as well doing this wherever we feel you know I, I have this kind of real strong feeling of bringing out that dance is as acceptable as walking and running why can't we just dance anywhere so um so I um yeah bring the dance to common common land areas uh, so this is kind of grassland areas in public places woodland beaches I absolutely believe we have a right to dance everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, yeah, yeah, with with, yeah. with no, you know, just with with not having a feeling of oh, this is a performance. No, this isn't a performance. This is us just moving, like we, yeah. like yeah. we, like we're, we're designed to. to do. We're born to do. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Yes. Yeah, I love that. Just even as you say, the donation based, I am I feel that sort of in the future of those or now for those who want it. And I think that way of being able to exchange or share from the heart, like I'll just when you mention it, I know someone here in Ireland who set up a healing center in that way. So it's all mm -hmm. donation based mm -hmm. and many people who would not be maybe used to it, which I wasn't. And a lot of people aren't would say, oh, my God, how can you do that? And, you know, going into the old mindset of people will just come and and, and uh, you know, they'll take advantage. Mm -hmm. And he said, and I, ha I have I just it, it always these words ring in my ears all the time is if you treat people like children, they behave like children. If you treat them like adults, they behave like adults. And it's become a beautiful um, way the people are almost feel very what's the word um really honored I think in a way that you go oh my god you you trust that I that, yeah. you know what I mean you you have I suppose it's an invitation to people isn't it you open up and say look at here you you share what you can and I'll share and then you build that trust in a way isn't it or, absolutely mm. and, and this is what happened this is what has happened really that um we, people who, who pay can afford to pay what we'd maybe class as a standard amount mm -hmm. for the dance mm -hmm. do and people who who can't don't and it all it's 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 magic what's happening it's it balances out we're managing to cover is that incredible that's incredible yeah i mean we do get some support with some funding mm -hmm. you know, which mm -hmm. helps and and that's mm -hmm. because we're offering a you know a very powerful healing or well-being offering so um we do lots of collaborations with creatives with nature-based organizations, with, you know, lots of kind of things in the mix there. But that's yeah. that just means that we can really support everyone. And yeah, yeah just trust that people pay. Yeah, yeah. They they have such um, you know, they value it so much that they will pay, pay for that, you know, they'll pay to what is they can. Yeah, yeah. I totally like Mm -hmm. Yeah. And can I ask you what I think is lovely when you said there at the beginning about, you know, dance just becoming it is who we are to express mm -hmm. in this way. It sounds like to me there's so much undoing that's going on in the world for a lot of us. Personally, for me, I've been on that journey since I had breast cancer in 2016. And mm -hmm. I mentioned it just I seem to keep mentioning it because it's just it's, it's just it's it's a turning point that I think many mm -hmm. people can relate to, even though it's different for everyone. And it sounds like because when I would have thought of dance in the past, yes, you think of performance, I will go see somebody dance. I have to get lessons. I have to be good. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, was is that something that was difficult when you let me say difficult when you started first to, to sort of help people understand what really this is about? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is my main message. I find myself mm -hmm. always repeating it all, all the time is that actually the word dance is heavily weighted mm. you know it's, it's movement it's move move it's just movement okay, and one of the things that we really often what happens it's contagious actually in that when other, when somebody sees somebody else letting go and really just not caring you know what they're moving like um that actually becomes a beautiful expression when you see it but it's people go oh i've got permission to just move uh, this doesn't have to look like a dance and what we mm. find is we, we use um, wireless headsets that so are out in nature 
dog walkers they come and they're walking past and they want to join in they'd like why are you, <laughs> yeah, I can't you know um because they can't just, you know one of the main barriers i'm finding in this culture is that people feel they need alcohol i used to be mm-hmm. like that myself that was completely mm-hmm. my past um and when they realize they don't it, it's like you just see this absolute relief on their face or or this it's like a, a, a revelation of oh wow my body moves and dances without alcohol and yeah. it, I can remember it, that the first time for me too because yeah, I went on did. that path and yeah. going I'll never be able to go out and yes. like dance without some stimulation or something yeah. of some sorts and mm-hmm. the freedom of doing that is just yes. it becomes something different though doesn't it because it's 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 led from a different place well yeah it's isn't it a very more authentic place yes um, absolutely but, I, I like mm. to use the word raw but you know mm. so say raw people can go oh that's a bit but raw mm. is beautiful mm. it's just <laughs> like you say the authentic you know it's quite vulnerable at first it can feel vulnerable but then when you kind of break through that vulnerability and realize the vulnerability is just part of who we are that's just what we are and we trust that our body kind of knows and mm. the magic that can happen between you know when we exchange energies and that's yeah. it is that is that a big part of it so like yes you can do it on your own but in a group um do you find that that it becomes obviously any group coming together but that really shifts everything by yeah yes it really does I mean I absolutely advocate dancing every day at home and and for for you for you know for our own spiritual growth and you look like you're about to dance now <laughs> I, yeah I'm stood up yeah I stand, I stand up all day yeah I'm very lovely. expressive yeah I do I, no, it's I do. lovely though and yeah. I'm often bending my knees and all kinds of things as I talk to people but uh yeah so um what was I going to say? You're saying about the, we're talking about the interconnected, or just the, the difference maybe when people are together as opposed to. Ah, on, okay, yeah. yeah. So I, I like I say, really advocate dancing at home and moving on on a, for a, and a, with ourselves and through ourselves and all the emotions. But yeah, when people dance together, there is that real tribal connection. And often I'm finding what we know, we're out in nature, we're kind of in woodlands and beaches, we're not all stood in a circle or anything like that. Sometimes we move naturally together depending on the rhythms and the music but it's that hey just feeling somebody else looking through the trees and seeing somebody else moving you're there together you've all got the headphones on so it's like a like a bubble you're in this bubble of music sound um and you can really feel the um yeah just feel the energies of the people and, and knowing that you're all together it's very very connective even though it you're not even that close if that makes yeah. sense yeah no it yeah. does because it, it it strikes me that we I listened to somebody it was just something um it was just a woman I, I listened to her podcast in, in the states and she was talking about a lot of you know necessary I suppose it might sound a little bit different not different but what you know what's going on on the planet and all the energies and all the things that are happening outside and she was saying just reminding people that your truest place and safest place is in your body. And Mm -hmm. the truth is felt through energy and resonance and what you experience as opposed to the mind. The mind is just translating the energy of what you're feeling. It's not necessarily truth because we all look through a different pair of glasses or a different Mm -hmm. frame. So she was really encouraging. And I, I just, I love what you're saying because I think we need more, it's nearly permission to say this is how we're designed we are nature yes. to move like exactly yeah absolutely. energy is we are energy and energy is constantly moving through our body is that like it must have changed your life to oh to, yes uh, yeah and we'll go into how what led you to it I just it just it does that sort of resonate with you I was just hearing that going this is how we free ourselves from any sort of let's say external control or manipulation is by coming back into the body it feels yes absolutely Mm. I mean when you're saying that I've just it's kind of really brought these goosebumps in me and what has happened recently uh on a a, a dance we held on the beach for summer solstice at seven o'clock in the morning there was 50 of us dancing to the sunrise the 
vibration was absolutely you can imagine because you've got the, the the i dance a lot with the waves in the sea and so you've got this the sea the water you know the beauty of the element of water there with us and the sun rising and just the celebration of light but to do that with so many of you early in the morning the energy field was very powerful you know it, we all felt yeah, yeah. It, alive <laughs> absolutely alive magic and just this real connection with mm. the source with the earth with you know just that feeling of connection with mother nature it's very it was a very very spiritual experience and some people came along not expecting that you know they come for a little dance on the beat <laughs> and you, you hear them go wow that was just yeah it is it can really shift perceptions when you experience that in a group yeah uh, so yeah yeah totally yeah. It's much about the energy because the one exp one experience and I don't know if it's exactly the same but the only thing I, I might have mentioned this to you way back was I joined five rhythms ah, yeah. dance a couple of times there was someone locally I don't know if she's still doing it and that was my first introduction to it and it was like that we were in a, a room and we didn't have headphones but again I just wanted to ask you is there sort of a not a a process or a I know you're talking about the rhythm she brought us through obviously five rhythms is there is there something like that that you yes absolutely with? yeah when I uh, I create the music journeys it's it's very intentional through a wave mm. starting quite earthy then into some flow and then into some kind of more I, I could use the elements a little bit in the, in the way I create the wave um into some like really uplifting fire releasing and then through time to a bit more kind of gentle um maybe a bit of kind of fun and and, and silly dance you know when the heart's been open when you've released and the heart's opened and then we go into some real gentle movement so there's certainly a wave similar to five rhythms so then I love five rhythms too I practice I've practiced it a lot and I follow yeah Gabriel Roth is Roughly. absolutely <laughs> absolutely a legend to me so yeah very very wise woman that I um, embody a lot of her her words in yeah. uh, bring them into you know into some of the ways I will teach the dance I say teach I just really guide with a mm. little facilitation some tips and and you know just things like that really to um help people let go and yeah can I ask you then it's lovely how you describe that just in terms of when you create the space or say somebody's coming for the first time and you said you sort of you set up the 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 music the sort of journey that people go on so if I was to come to one of your classes tomorrow what could I expect or how would you guide me into this experience mm -hmm. So we we would start with a, a welcoming circle. So we'll kind of bring the group together, checking in on um, you know how how everyone's feeling. So just bring in whatever it is. I kind of just ask people to give a word or a colour, or they don't have to speak at all if they don't want to. But just to so bringing that bringing us into the moment, into the present, and then I would just. Basically, yeah, just really guide through a few guidelines of being in the moment through different ways of focusing the so somatic movement or connecting with the rhythms or just being playful. Just playing is dance. <laughs> so yeah. it depends on, on the group as to how I kind of um, will facilitate. I get a feeling really on on who's there and how how. Yeah, some people you can sense they may be feeling really self-conscious. So I will give a lot of guidance on tips, really, of of how to break through the self-conscious, really, and even mm. dance with it. Dance with it. And what sort of tips would help? Because I can imagine yeah. that probably is the first thing that people feel. Yes. Oh my God. Closing eyes, closing eyes mm. always helps, and just dropping comparisons and and really, you know, if if especially if we're in woodlands or near the sea connecting in with the nature around and just feeling that, that nature is holding us holding you and yeah also just not feeling like you have to dance with others you know just dancing you know with yourself and, and connecting in with different parts of the body also is a really important one so focusing in on how it's feeling 
to be moving your fingers and toes together or your knees and hips and really saying hello to different parts of the body. We're kind of all in our heads. <laughs> mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, bringing it down to kind of waking down into the feet and the knees, you know, rather than in our hair, just waking down and rounding. So different ways, really, but very much about being present um, in, in with music or body or nature. Mm. Yeah. So and do you... Tools. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, using those as the tools and also relaxing to the rhythms. Sometimes it's amazing how beats and rhythms are literally just once they happen, there we're, we're there, we're at home. We're at yeah. home. Yeah, that's it, <laughs> we're at home. Yeah, <laughs> reminding people of that, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, and it strikes me as well that it's it must be a very powerful way for, say, releasing emotion or because we all... I know I think that's one of the biggest blocks <laughs> it is a block sort of is this sort of way and it's I know it's we do it to sort of protect ourselves is if something uncomfortable is coming up we stuff mm -hmm. it down and then that all manifests in different ways in our lives because we haven't let the energy move so do you run classes specifically maybe say somebody's dealing with grief or do you just bring people together and talk about that or how how do you you know, yeah, with... absolutely. Bring I bring people together and talk about that. And you know, always through the the waves I provide, there's there is a release. There's an element of re music for release. Um, and I would talk about that in the guidance um, at the beginning. In that, just to surrender to the really surrender to the rhythms and the beats and release. If you feel to, you know, not everyone wants. So I kind of I always like to kind of talk about you know to bring the happy bring the sad always the both the both the sides of things the stiffness stiffness the softness we don't uh, just just kind of go with what is um mm. and yeah certainly um naturally what happens people are drawn to the dance some people will be uh, experiencing grief some people just really stressed uh you know they've got a lot of anxiety to release some people just come for a whole lot of fun and they just want fun, fun, fun. And, and it's all welcome. And I kind of feel into that really with the group. You can you can sense in and, and just creating that safe space for all, all of it to welcome really. And yeah, I do this. I open up for um, if people want to kind of talk at the end, they can do to, you know, we should have a, a space to share at the end um and also to come you know talk to me if they need to so I like to try and yeah this is the thing with community you really it's it's all there and mm. into the group really and it's, yeah it's always a yeah. very supportive group too just naturally yeah. <laughs> so I suppose yeah. it draws people who I suppose are open even the name dance free it, yeah. it obviously must be calling a bit inside of you yes. when, yeah. when you show up even if you don't know what yeah. to expect something is mm -hmm. yeah something is mm -hmm. I, I I don't know if you find that but I, I there's sort of a readiness that has to be there isn't there like you yeah. can't force someone to be um I, I think there was another one I talked to you know if, you, if someone doesn't want to be free there's no point you can't no <laughs> that's fine let them be you know Absolutely, but if the yeah. call is and, there for you yes and we there's so many curious people that come along I, I love it when I can feel the curiosity sometimes and that's a really wonderful place to be that feeling mm. of being intrigue and what's this going to be like and I always say to people you know I have no expectations see where the body goes you know, it, you may don't chase the highs or or, or, or feel like this is going to happen. Just see what happens and treat it as a, you know, a dance adventure. <laughs> I like to call it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you just don't know. So, yeah, definitely people do arrive with a lot of curiosity and, and open naturally does attract open people. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. imagine. And can you just talk about when you said this wave and when you're sort of creating or putting together, so you put together sort of, is it and say a, 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 like a playlist nearly or a certain type of music? Is that, so you, you, you create that yourself? Yes, I do. Yeah, I love doing that. <laughs> it's like what I just, I'm, I'm so absorbed in music all the time at home and, and dancing to music. So, 
I, I yeah I just I just it comes comes through my heart really what I want to bring and I always like to bring uh, some uplifting but also some music that can uh, uh, possibly just ignite different movements if people feel to you know so it's all music from all over the world I like to um, yeah just bring a real mix of all kinds really but mm. uh, certain music can can help us if we want to or if our body feels to move in different ways so I like to really uncondition people's yeah. movement myself okay. included you know we're yes. very conditioned to dance to certain kinds and it's like when you realize oh actually if I close my eyes my body moves to, wants to move a little bit different to this because the you know mm -hmm. the way all the instruments are um and that can be you know that can really um rewire our brains yeah and, ignite a lot of creativity when our body wow. moves wow yeah I can. Yeah. and is that from you're saying so have you traveled a lot as just mm. part of your work and you've brought in different cultural yes. sort of influences yeah. have you what can you talk a little bit about that and what is yeah yeah I'm, I'm very inspired by uh particularly South America and um Brazil I spend a lot of time there um dancing <laughs> and spending time with the culture there and really feeling the soul of of the country which is uh, you know really beautifully creative and musical and connected to nature um, so yeah, I personally am very inspired with a lot of the the rhythms from different parts of of um, South America, Brazil particularly, but mm. also just all over the world really. I mean, I I yeah, I, India, and I just find that dancing to different instruments and you know the real deepness of some of the drum in particular uh, from African drum, you you know it it always it almost feels like really just yeah in my roots in my just yeah, really, yes. uh, makes my body vibrate and uh yeah brings me real back really back down to uh where I'm from my home <laughs> yeah like is that what yeah. I'm in a drumming circle and I was actually there yesterday with the Afro you know the djembe drums uh, yeah oh my god when I started that I started that drumming circle after I read women who run with the wolves which sort of led yeah. to this part it all sort of happened but I used to go into the drumming circle and this is very interesting from what you're saying. The rhythms or the sound of the drum, I couldn't stop moving. I just, like I'm doing it now. I just, this mm -hmm. movement starts in me that I cannot stop. It's like, mm -hmm. and is that, is that, how would you sort of describe that? Is that the unique, each of us have a sort of a specific, I suppose, energetic, energetic signature in the world or is it you know sort of connecting because we're all sound and energy and light like what is it would you say we're tapping into just uh, yeah I think yeah our own our vibrations yeah, yeah I think we're all all the mini vibrations that vibrate together very powerfully but um and when we really connect in with our own vibration and energy uh that with yeah it's it's really instinctual and yeah, I mean that's Primal what sort wild of in me. Yeah. You know, that just makes me just yeah. absolute wild um, and <laughs> and free and yeah. yeah. So yeah. really, it's very powerful. Like say, when there's drumming circles or um, you connect in through movement and the drumming, it, it feels very tribal, very connective. Um, yeah, ancestral. Something greater, isn't it? Is Absolutely. created. Yes. When you talk and even when I do the draw, any of music, anything like that always reminds me, it, it's sort of bringing us into the memory that we are all part of this one big organism or living, breathing planet. And it needs all of us to mm -hmm. sort of keep the balance and the harmony. Yes. That really sounds like what you're describing as well when groups. How yes. do you see it changes? Do people say to you, this has really changed my life? Because mm -hmm. How, what sort of things do you hear because I can imagine people discover just amazing things about them I, I, I honestly it's like the, the confidence that because it's um you know dancing without um with without inhibition and without alcohol or without you know all these cultural mm. um, it it can really give a that can be it, it's quite a scary thing it's you're embracing that fear and then when, you know, if you, I always say, if you can dance on the beach, you know, with people around and you don't care, 
you can do anything. Yeah, that's <laughs> so true. You forget about going you know, into an interview. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just and and so I find that um, people that come to that lots of people about four um, who have really gone into a very um, creative exploration in their life. Uh, they have become musicians <laughs> that wow. they wanted to, but hadn't been, hadn't kind of had the, uh, um, yeah, just the confidence to try it. And then through the dance, they've been coming regularly to the dance and now they're a yeah, saxophone player. And she said, I would never have done that before. Um, and yeah, poets, uh, but also just, yeah, just more open as well with other people. So just feeling that, um, the not not being fearful of um you know just talking to everyone and anyone because i think our community is such a warm safe kind of space to realize that humans are we just are animals together <laughs> we are nature and then you we kind of nature. realize that in the out in the wider world uh, i don't like to kind of say we're this group and then the world separate yeah. But it, it's that kind of it's rippling that out, and it we you know our community are all they they you can just feel it. They really they really bring out positivity from the dance. You take it to the to your day. You know the heart opening, the love that you feel in the dance and the joy. You spread it out, <laughs> um, and and that's what I feel. Yeah, I can see happens. So yeah, certainly a building confidence and self esteem, and also that real connection with accepting our bodies. Beautiful, mm. and not judging, you know. Mm. So not judging others, but not judging ourselves because we're not moving like this, or we should look like this. And yeah, so that's. Mm. It's lovely to hear it's rippling out because often, well, I found in my past, you know, you'd go and do things as a way of releasing, and yes, it often did involve alcohol, but you know, or different things. But finding ways to do that without that. But it would always still be a release and then go back into my work life. Yeah. Like, I love that this is more a way, like, like you say, we are nature and everything. I think everything everybody is doing is rippling out. This is how we change the world. This is how we lift the planet, isn't it? How we, our vibration, our energy. How do you describe that? I know I often, I suppose you feel it more than you talk about it because often you do feel, I always feel people now. I think when you become more into your heart like so people coming to the, the the community do you find they are quite heart open or might have a, maybe have a lot of pain and they're like oh you know how that must be mixed. a delicate sort of thing to yeah to work there's a with mix, as there's well a mixture. yeah there's a real mixture you can I, I can feel another real um powerful thing that happens when people kind of dance with us regularly is they really you can feel they socially feel a lot more socially connected you know some people have come along and they they're just you know I don't know this because I they don't say mm. it but I feel they're just looking for some connection and um yeah so I think that's that's one of the main um I forgot what your actual question was I know so I, sometimes I do myself I go around in circles <laughs> but it's like as I find it but I am yeah, I thought was my question really was, yeah, I suppose the different mix of people coming oh. in and that you may meet people who, yeah, are quite sad or their heart is maybe a bit shut, how you sort of work with that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we that that does happen. And, um, you know, because it's a very subtle facilitation, <laughs> safe space, you can just um, sense that um, be, within themselves, they're, you know, letting out the emotions, releasing and just feeling safe to do that. And you can, you just, you can feel a gradual, just a gentle um, release uh, and opening. And yeah, everyone's very different. You know, not everyone comes going, ah, I'm, I'm ready to dance and I know what I'm bringing and I'm full of love. You know, the people are coming and beautifully, you know, I've studied dance movement, psychotherapy, and this is what the dance is for. It's for all of it. It's dancing everything. It's not wow. just highs. So, yeah, it we do. There's a blend. Yeah. Uh, Lovely. Blend. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe now is a good time, just when you say there about studying, because I, I want to just go back mm -hmm. into sort of your past or maybe what led you and how you found dance. And then you're mentioning psychotherapy there. So I think that'll be very interesting for people to hear. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, your journey so, with it? Yeah, I mean, I 
I kind of, um, I uh, danced wildly throughout my childhood, throughout my teenage years and 20s, very hed hedonistic lifestyle. And then I realized that, I, you know, through spending time in nature, that there was a lot more to life and a lot more to movement and dance. Um, and went on a little journey myself through travel, actually, but always looking for dance uh, and then discovering dance without alcohol and a static dance and five rhythms. And then I basically just felt this real um, oh, fire in me to bring this out to the world. I was like, wow, this has changed me. Um, mm. I can dance my wild and dance my freedom and, you know, release of all these possible emotions that were held in me throughout my childhood and teenage years and 20s. Um, and so I, previous to that, I studied psychology, um, but that's obviously, and it's great, <laughs> but that was very much about the mind. And, and, and then, but inside me, I was like, but really, I just want to move and I feel happier and freer when I when I'm moving and I, not when I'm thinking uh, so and then it kind of just suddenly came together ping oh actually you know I kind of heard the term dance movement psychotherapy and I've obviously got a background in psychology and I was like movement movement is is really um you know what what we are and what can help us release for me personally, doesn't matter how much I'm reading, it's actually mm. my body holds the knowledge and my, my body tells me. Mm. My mm. mind tells me too much. My body just tells me the truth. <laughs> That's it. Our bodies. I think that is, yeah. isn't it, the biggest revelation I've come to in life because we've sort of been taught the opposite. You yes. know, we're, yeah. we're brought up to think. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Intuition. Don't, don't, don't be getting all emotional. And it's sort of associated with you getting out of control and, you know, yes. you get extreme and you're not balanced and rational um, and that the mind gives you all the answers. And to me, I'm learning that's the total opposite. <laughs> yes, yes, totally for me. And so um, and then uh, so then I just felt on this absolute mission to learn some, you know, learn lots more about the dance movement psychotherapy, which I was like, wow, this is just perfect. This is amazing. This is what I want to um, gain knowledge on. Um, and then through doing that, I was like, well, actually, I want to bring this to the community. I want to bring it out there. Mm. So I kind of and when was this, Hannah? Like how long were you very young when you found um no this um, was no. um this was a uh, during the pandemic that I started okay learning. yeah oh, so right. I've been okay. traveling for several years and discovering the dance more and more the ecstatic dance and and like I say just the cult other cultural dancing everywhere on the streets on the buses just yeah. dancing everywhere and then uh as it happened I came back to this country um when it was the pandemic and then I was just hungry to learn and gain some knowledge so that I could kind of gain the skills to bring this to people and I know also trained as a um, conscious dance facilitator so I can't, did the two at the same time knowing that I wanted to bring a kind of um, a therapy to the community if that makes sense mm, mm. Um, in, a, in a in that setting um, so that's how it happened yeah and mm. That's where dance free community, and then it, when it when we were allowed to just be in groups of six people outdoors together, you know, after the lockdown, um, I started dancing in the woods. Asked my friends to come along, and they were like, "This is amazing!" And I was like, "I know, right? I'm getting some headsets. Let's do this more." And then it just grew and grew. Um, and then November that year, I decided to create the the community interest company, Dance Free. So in that's 2020 where, is it or 2021 yes 2021. Sorry, following okay. Year, yeah okay. uh, yeah we were going as a group like just a community group and then it became an official organization if that's what you want to call it yeah <laughs> a community um so yeah that's where it's it's stemmed from really um so I just wanted to gain some knowledge of what I actually just knew any 
I didn't do any way if that makes sense but just... yeah but it sounds like you like I never heard you could do conscious dance facilitation like how you found like how did you did, I think often when you're on your path anyways things just show up but yes. how how did those sort of how did you find your way to Through, uh some some of my peers who I dance with because I, I when I was traveling I also lived in my van for a long time so I was kind of literally chasing and finding dance all over the country and, and also Europe I was just like hungry to find a uh, be with my dancing tribe you know mm. this bigger picture of, and and it was through them that they mentioned you know actually there's there's a different there's different kinds of modalities and there's different kinds of training and I just wanted something that was quite broad and not a specific modality just that covers like dancing with you know just dancing freely expressive dance that was free movement really yeah but, um, where did all do you know when did all of like even Gabrielle Roth anyone who's in this sort of world of free dance when did all of this really begin to take a hold and like I hadn't heard of it years ago was it hmm. or, or how did it start yeah, I mean, you mean in the UK as it is? Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know where it did originate this sort mm -hmm. of more, yeah, free movement, free dance. Mm -hmm. Well, it's certainly from my point of view, from Gabrielle Roth, uh, the okay. five rhythms which led to the static dance. But um, I'm sure, you know, there's, it's it's developed more and more all over, all over the world. But particularly in the UK, I think really just before covid and then since then so maybe the last five years really i think it's grown here um and i think it's just because the um you know people are waking up a little bit more <laughs> into waking into their bodies more and connecting more with nature and and being so i think even when people are dancing indoors you're connecting mm. with our bodies and nature what would you say has been the biggest shift for you since you started you know since you found mm -hmm. dance free dance yeah well I can uh I can des describe when it happened the moment mm -hmm. happened, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and really from then on yes yeah, so and then that was where I found my that was where I discovered my purpose from that moment so uh I yeah I just um on my path discovering dance and traveling, I wanted to kind of sought to go to a lot more um, conscious, no non-alcohol um, gatherings uh, where there was a lot of healing and movement and music. Uh, and so I did a particular festival and I was kind of quite naive to what was going to happen to me. Uh, I just walked into a tent and uh, there was maybe about... Pff, 80 people dancing freely with some amazing music and I was like oh my god I feel nervous here what do I do I don't really know what to do I'm not I feel self-conscious but I knew I wanted to dance and literally I just closed my eyes let my body go and then opened my eyes and felt this like you say this big this this experience it was bigger than us it was a bigger feeling than me and I realized that wow um I am I am this my, I discovered my spirit through movement and dance I just really felt this um feeling come through me of, of freedom and it just felt so raw and real and I felt very euphoric I felt uh, I found my own ecstasy inside me uh and that was like wow this is life <laughs> this is life um and came out of there crying uh because I was like I, I just couldn't believe uh that I hadn't found this before <laughs> it'd been masked moving. yeah it'd been masked in it, it I, I always felt like I, I was moving my soul I felt connection with my soul through movement but it was in a you know where I'd had things that were igniting that through alcohol and substances and it was like it wasn't really it was fuzzy it was yeah. fuzzy yeah it's a, yeah 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 yeah, so this, yeah and so then um yeah so it just uh, yeah after as soon as I came out of there and I felt these tears of happiness and revolution you know this kind of revelation I was like this is my purpose this is what I'm here I want to share this and spread this to the world <laughs> wow. uh, that's where it came from for me yeah and then I just continued to 
uh, explore and find different places and different ways that I could discover learning more about this. And did you find people you could talk to then? Like, so when you had that experience and you came out and you're like, you know, were you able to talk to people about it or did you keep it to yourself or like what? what did I did you talk do? about it. Yeah, I certainly shared with my friends and I think some of them thought I was bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you kind of do, you become like a magnet to the you dance, you know, the tribes of people who are like, you know, who are on this journey themselves uh but yeah I've, I've always just felt the need to spread it out there really not to become closed with it and to share it and I just feel like oh if only everyone knew this magic that's within us that we can tap into so easily <laughs> yeah, yeah that's so beautiful and it sounds like everybody does it like it's to me when you describe that I had a similar type of experience, but not through dance. It was through cancer <laughs> and it's sort of through everything falling away. I often say yes. everything fell away. My mind wasn't functioning. My body wasn't functioning. And I was sort of on my own in my home and I never felt so sort of at peace. It was a different, you know, it, it, it takes on different colors and shades. That's essence mm -hmm. in yourself when you feel it. But for me yeah. at the time, it was just this real flow which is really what draws me and I never felt so I didn't understand it at the time I but I know now because once I think I think it's just beautiful what you describe you're sort of going oh I just want everybody to know once you touch who you truly are and you can't yeah. put words on that there are no words yes you feel to. who you truly are it can never ever be taken away from you yes you may go through dark times and you know there'll be have you found since then that there have been periods where maybe that connection felt sort of, I wouldn't say blocked or, you know, did things happen ever? You know, because there's obviously ups and downs in life. So mm -hmm. how has it been since then? Uh, yeah, it's, it's good because in, it, it's, I think, like I mentioned at the very beginning, navigating society uh, where you're um, around people that do not understand what on earth you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so that's sometimes where it feels the block. Um, but, um, <clears throat> and I don't force, force things on people, but I absolutely advocate and I'm on this uh yeah on this journey to really bring it bring dance and normalize it to everyone so yeah the block it yes I sometimes do feel the blockage um in terms of people may um put, judge judge what we're doing because the music is isn't disco enough or we're you know we're playing this and it's like ah just leave let you know so they're the kind of things i suppose it's the judgments which is just life <laughs> that's what happens isn't yeah it? yeah uh, so we just... personally in your own as well say if something it sounds like you move very flowing through your life now even if things you have a bad day or something happens you know something sad in your life have mm -hmm. you found that you know that movement has really just helped you really has find yeah. a way or navigate as you say through it yeah my uh you know, in the morning, sometimes at lunch, I will have a little release. I'll go out for a walk and have a dance without music on, just move and dance. And, uh, but yes, absolutely. You know, we all experience my, you know, a certain experience where you have this, the doubts and the worries all just come up at once and I release it, just let it through the dance. And mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, I'm, my dance isn't always joyful. In the mornings, it can be like, oh, I feel in what's this sadness? you know, what's wrong today and move through it. And sometimes it just comes to a softness. Other times I will just tap into, ah, oh, release. And now I'm joy and I'm, I'm dancing my intentions for the day. But mm. uh, yes, the dance for me is absolutely my um, my comfort, my um, my healing, my tool <laughs> for life. <Yeah. laughs> dance through life, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And do you work one on one with people as well? Like if someone comes to you and you said therapeutically, would you do dance therapy with somebody? Like, is there such a thing that if someone was there is dance therapy? I mean, I, I, I'm not um, a qualified therapist, um, mm. but 
I, I, certain, I was a health coach. Um, so I often bring in when I was a health coach, I find myself talking about moving as the main thing, you know, above food mm. and, and all of it. Because for me, it's like, let's just get the movement, the body moving and then everything else seems to flow from that. But yes, I, um, I find that uh, intuitively what I when I move with people, I, I can feel that, I'm, you know, there's this kind of aesthetic empathy that I'm feeling and it can um, soften or, or guide or comfort or, or just be with someone through this. That's what just ha maybe happens at the group, mm. the group dance. But yes, so it naturally happens a little bit yeah. where I'm holding space. But yeah, I'm just feeling for that really, yeah, just feeling with and see what happens and what, respect what people where people are. Um, yeah and is it because the body my sense myself now as well as the body you know there's, there's so many books on the body keeps the score and when the body says no I remember reading yeah. that when I went through cancer so that it's really the wisdom of the body so you've obviously got a lot of sort of respect for what the body is saying it's like mm -hmm. you know so it may be saying no it's not time to release that yet it's too soon mm -hmm. or you're yeah. not ready or you need to so you're obviously very in tune with that in your own life mm -hmm. I feel so yes yeah I mean I can see it in you like you look, <laughs> yeah I think you don't out. need to convince me <laughs> I think this whole idea I spent off in my life going when you find something wanting to tell the world and yeah. really it's more by what you exude because we are that if we are what you're saying you know which we I know we are like that spirit that essence in us that just yes. shines out naturally it's not something mental that you explain yes <laughs> and I, I find the more I move this is quite um, um... <laughs> you're making me want to get up because <laughs> <laughs> I feel good my feet are nearly like <laughs> ready I to told dance. you it's contagious it is contagious. yeah it is <laughs> And I find in the more I move and the more I experience my life in a embodied form, uh, particularly uh, in with nature, but yeah, just every day uh, and with others, the more I move with others, this is a controversial sentence. <laughs> the less I want to talk, I just yeah. want to move with others because yeah. I feel that's more of a, a the real place. Um, words can, I I'm finding I'm, I'm less... Mm. Uh, to find the words but I can mm. find the movement or I can find that um connection through the energy fields yeah, yes yeah. well I'm becoming more of an animal than a human yeah no I guess I get it it's sort of weird like I'm doing a podcast but I find the only conversation the conversations that really draw me are conversations that are sort of from that place they yeah. really feed me and then outside of that, I just want to be, I just want to be on yeah. my own. I'm sort of in that sort of flow. Like it's, it's, um, I think once you find that there's probably phases you go through, but there's, there's a natural, and it is very hard to explain that to people like, it's, it you know, is. How, but is your mind not, I don't know, it's actually in most times when I don't, you know, when I haven't gone into something, it's this sort of flow and it does seem to be, our mind is not the way through our problems is what I'm mm -hmm. learning. It's it's totally not, agree. isn't yeah. it not? It's, it's yeah. never given me the answer to anything. It's just, no, no. <laughs> nature does for me. The sea is my teacher at the moment. I have, I have little phases of where I'm exploring and, um, mm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Just talk a little I bit about the, the different parts of you. Yeah. So okay. I, I in the sea uh, with the sea and you know when it's the high tide and the waves are really full of energy it, it absolutely um kind of energizes me and just makes me feel so em empowered of, of, of life mm. through water um and then other times it's just that rippling and that gentle flow uh so yeah that yes i i learned so much from just moving outside uh, and indoors but yeah does that come into when you're putting the music together sort of you need some earth you need some air you need some water you need some fire is that always sort of kind of always right. yeah um depending on where we dance though so I will change it kind of um so for, for example on the beach there's, there's a lot of air 
and there's a lot of water um in the woodlands it's it, it, you know we'll go a little bit more with the earth sounds um so yeah uh, but i do like to kind of bring I, I feel like we are each one of those elements within us and to dance and move through those can be very powerful and and can really reconnect us in with nature mm. uh, so yeah because it does seem that. sorry yeah like it does seem like we are you know i'm always hearing because sometimes i can be quite ungrounded that we need that even though we are spirit or energy that we have to we're still living in this world so it's obviously is it an important I don't know or is that just naturally happen through the movement and the dance that you sort of people come back in and ground themselves afterwards no we I certainly bring in some grounding towards the end of the dance and, and mm. because there is some release and yeah we'll we'll do some uh, meditation at the end and and just really uh, we'll throw some gentle music as well and some real soft sounds and move into those and some stillness as well we'll move it moving through mm. the stillness or you know moving or feeling the stillness through our bodies um is very important yes really important because myself included if you if you're left and you've done you're dancing high energy fire energy <laughs> and that's fine sometimes it could be funneled into something mm. <laughs> But often it, it the body, yeah, we we kind of needs that um grounding to to just integrate back into mm. the world. <laughs> not that we've mm. not got out of the world, but you know You're sort of lot. more in the world. I know it can appear, isn't it funny? Everything is so I feel now that I'm I just feel like everything is so inverted. Like what seems like you're gone out of the world and your people might look and go, She's a bit not here, you're actually more here. Yes, <laughs> in a yeah. way, in the way, because you're totally. truly in yourself rather mm -hmm. than up here, sort of. Yeah, you're not really connected in because your body is. Yeah, it's just become such a big realization for me that the body is your is your way of being in this life. Like it's not just some you know inanimate sort of functioning to, to eat or whatever. Like it, it's it houses you. <laughs> your essence your energy whatever you call that your life mm -hmm. force your you know um mm -hmm. totally so. life force yeah totally and I've got to say something that I've yeah. often happens after the dance to me um is that just uh once you know there's the softness and then kind of moving back into the day I can't believe how many ideas just come that I'm almost like full of creativity and ideas and uh it's very i can there is science behind this there is science yeah. behind yeah. how when the brain when you dance the brain really does um light up all kinds of different pathways um neuro pathways in there but i i really experience this i totally um recommend dance to bring out creativity yeah. Of what and ways think, then do you or express answer solutions? It? Yeah, or answer yeah. solutions. Yes, yes. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ways I bring it out, I, I sometimes will draw, or, or it, it's sometimes just you know some words on a journal. Yeah. Or it's ideas of life, you know, of like general stuff, you know, of what I want to do next or where I want to do or who I would like to yeah. connect and speak to and what nature I'd like to bring in that day. And Yeah. So just before we finish up, what would be your greatest wish for? I, I suppose you've probably answered this through bringing movement more out. But if, in terms of humanity and where it's going, what would be your greatest wish for the world? that uh yeah that we that we really connect connecting with nature really connecting with mother earth through movement through our vibration uh, you know raise the vibration a uh, healing vibration through the through the connected movement with the earth together in community and and really uh, bring that when people when we connect together in that way and we are nature and we feel we are nature I believe we we have the power to really bring a lot of healing to mother nature and and a lot more ownership responsibility and love for her mm. so yeah 
yeah, for, for us all to be moving. Yeah, I'm going to say this for us to be moving a lot more with nature, in nature, and as nature. Lovely. Yeah. Mm. If people, Hannah, want to get in touch with you, okay, they can obviously if they're in Lincolnshire or in England or whatever. So how how are you working right now if people want to connect? Yeah, if if so, uh, just we have a website uh, which is uh, wedancefree.com. And uh, on there's an email. Uh, just drop me an email. Say hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to chat, <laughs> to move. <laughs> and uh, if we're in another part of the world and go, gosh, I love what she's doing and I'd love to be part of it. What would you suggest? Yeah. Do you do, I, like, do you do um, playlists for people or how or groups? I am. I'm soon to be. Um, yeah, we're soon to be offering um uh, like a, a, a dance at home offering so we'll be sharing some music with that uh yeah definitely follow us on the website join up on our mailing list because this is all we will be bringing this out there a lot more at the moment we d i don't really share the playlists because they're saved for the dance sessions but there is going to be it's going to be out there very soon actually i'm i'm working i've been doing quite a few dj mixes at some festivals so that's been lovely because that's been a, a real kind of joyful expression of dance all together with lots of people. Yeah. And just sorry, before we go, just I didn't probably get into, but the types of music. So they're very mixed. Are they? You're saying sometimes people go, oh, that doesn't sound like the latest, you know, cool music or whatever. So like what typically could you expect in the. Well, all kinds, <laughs> really. certainly. Um, yeah. Some uplifting beats that'd be all kinds of genres so i can list list yeah. you know, but you do that. source them you just sort sorry i didn't mean to interrupt yeah. you there sorry but do you just source them from sort of existing music so you just go into a sort of a i spend yeah i spend hours and hours enjoying wow. moving and listening to music from all kinds of things all all kinds of genres but uh yeah from just there's, there's disco there's Deep house, there's Latino, there's jazz, there's soul, there's funk, there's classical, there's uh, gentle ambient, all kinds. I could, that's not mm, even. I know, I know. There. But you could expect them all mixed together in a playlist if you got one, or if you were doing a dance yeah. with you, you combine yeah. them all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, create a way that combines them and, and blends them all together. Beautiful. Beautiful. Any final words before we finish up that you'd like to say that I didn't ask you or? Uh, no, I can't think of any really. Just, yeah, just for people to, if anybody is, is watching, to really um, explore their uh, inner freedom through dance. Just be open to that. Give it a go and see what happens. Place. <laughs> yeah well you're such an example just looking at you like you just radiate yeah. life and you have a beautiful light on the wall or something behind you I don't know if it's a reflection but it's gorgeous <laughs> uh, yes I've, oh yes I see yeah or above a painting yeah yeah I don't know what that is <laughs> that, but it's uh... that's not there either that's interesting Must I know be it just appeared I said I don't think I saw it earlier I'll have to look back but uh, thank you, Hannah. I will put all your contact details um, on this, your email and website. And I really recommend reach out for the little experience that I've had. You've sort of encouraged me to go back. It just was so, so freeing. It's like once you start your body, sort of was like, I want to keep doing this. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So take care. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you everybody thank you. for listening and uh, talk to you again soon.